everyone, it's Bethany, and in this video, we are going to be unboxing the Cricut Explore Air 2, and I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this to arrive, and finally I got the little chime on my doorstep that it was here, and I'm really excited to get this out of the box and play around with it. So I took advantage of the Cricut Spring Sale that they were having a little while ago, and I decided to splurge on an Explore Air 2, and I'm sure you're wondering why I would buy an Explore Air 2 if I already craft with the Cricut Joy and the Cricut Mini. Maker. And to be completely honest and transparent, I definitely get a lot of questions about all three machines and the differences between the machines and their capabilities. So in order to continue bringing good content to you, I think it's a good idea that I am crafting with all three machines. So I'm really excited to bring you guys some additional contents and machines um, by having another machine on the crafting table. And I hope you guys are excited as I am because I'm really excited to unbox this. I was trying to decide between the mint and this rose color and I kind of sat on it for a couple days and then my husband finally said you have to get the, that pink color because you're such a pink girl so and you guys know this about me if you've been around here a while you guys know that I love pale pink so I'm really excited to see this in person so another thing I did do is I actually purchased this as the bundle so I will go through not only unboxing this machine with you but I will also show you what came in the bundle that way if you guys are kind of on the fence about whether to just start out with the machine or to go ahead and upgrade and get the bundle then you guys will kind of see a little bit about what comes in it and it might help you just decide a little bit easier so all right let's get started I'm super super excited to see this color in person and just to see a little bit more about this Explore Air 2 and if you guys are new to the channel please be sure to subscribe so that you guys can see what's going to be coming to the channel with this machine it's, I'm really excited my plan is to do three videos a week and I'm hoping to do one joy video one explore air 2 video and one maker video that way we can explore all of the machines each week together so wish me luck it's going to be a lot of fun crafting all right everyone go ahead and leave me a comment about what machine you have or what machine is on your wish list and let's get started by opening up this box all right, so now that your box is open, you're gonna find a bunch of things inside. So this is all of the things that will come inside of your box. So first and foremost, you're gonna be really excited that you're gonna finally see your machine. So we're gonna open that first. But before I do, let me show what other items you're gonna see when you open your box. You're also going to find a blue light grip mat. So they are gonna start you off with a mat, which is wonderful. I will be completely honest and say that the blue mat is what I use just about 90 to 95% of the time when I'm crafting. It's their light grip mat and I love it. So the blue mat is a wonderful introductory mat that they place in your box because I tend to use that quite a bit. Um, the other thing that you are going to find is they give you one of their Cricut pens. This is their 0.4 tip black um, and it's a wonderful pen so you'll be able to start off um, trying to do some writing things if you would like to and then they're going to give you a lovely pack of paperwork. You have a little um, get started booklet here and then you also have a little welcome book. So this is going to be really handy too because it's going to welcome you to all things Cricut. So it gets you knowing your machine by giving you a little layout of all of the little buttons and features and then um, it goes forth and explains a lot of other different things so the welcome book is definitely something you want to peruse um, it's really really nice it also goes through some of the other um, you know blades and other types of tools that you may want to try out so that's really nice too and then of course it's going to go through the mats and what each mat does so that is very helpful when you're just getting started Heck, that's even really helpful if you've been doing it a long time. Sometimes I love a little tiny reference manual to just kind of get me going. Okay, so then you've got a little welcome sheet and some warranty paperwork, and then you have a little starter project. So one of the main things that really helped me when I first got my maker, my maker was my first machine, um, what really helped me was starting a project right away. It just kind of helped that intimidation, um, that little intimidation factor, because you get everything, you've been so excited, but then you kind of halt for a second and think, 
think, oh my gosh, what do I do now? So I love that they include a little project because it kind of helps you rip the bandaid off and just be brave and start with your machine. So you're also going to have a little, some cords and a little, a power adapter um, that you're going to plug into your machine and then plug into the wall. Okay. So now let's go ahead. Let's just do it because <laughs> I've been wanting to see what the um, color looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and it's super pretty and pink. You guys know this is my favorite color, so I'm super, super excited to see it finally. Okay, so now it's all unwrapped. It's super pretty. I definitely love the color. So if you're a pink girl or you love blush, then this is your machine for sure. So I'll have to thank my husband because he definitely led me in the right direction with color choice. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this little get, let's get started um, envelope. And then it is definitely just going to walk you right through it. I love how Cricut um, does their branding. It really just helps you get started. So the first thing, unleash the beauty. Check. We've done that. And it says plug in and power your fabulous new Cricut machine. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I did is I grabbed that little power cord and I put the um, power cord in the back and then the other will go right into the wall. Okay, so now that that is done, what we're gonna do is we are going to go to cricut.com slash setup and then they're gonna walk us through every step. So I'll go ahead and do that on my computer and then we will get started on making our first little something. Okay, so we're all connected and ready to go. So we are done with this step and we can just place that over here. You guys, that literally took me about 30 seconds. And if you're already a Cricut um, user, you just will do it through um, Design Space. So you'll just go to set up new machine, you'll plug everything in, it reads the machine and you just go through the steps. It's so easy, so fast, and we're already ready to go. All right, now the next step is make a little something. So I'm gonna show you guys Cricut Design Space and we'll walk you right through it. Okay, so now we're ready to do our first test cut. So this is the page that will pop up right after you set up your machine in Cricut Design Space. So this is Cricut Design Space if you have not used it before. Um, and so we are going to now just select an image to get started. So I think I'm going to do, let's do the crown, that might be fun. So I'm going to select that and then click next. Now we are going to turn this dial to cardstock. So this is wonderful. It's gonna get you all started on using your machine is going to walk you right through it. So we are just going to turn our dial to card stock and I'm doing that behind the scenes right now but I'll show you once we get over to the camera where I did that. And now it says place the small card stock in the left top corner of the mat and then we will make sure that our blade is in there. We will push up our mat against the rollers and let that guide in and then we will go ahead and start um, by clicking the flashing load unload button and I'll show you guys all that. So let's switch back to the camera and we will start cutting. Okay, so we're gonna open our machine and then what we're going to do is, this is the dial where I did my little cardstock selection. So I just um, rotated it over to cardstock and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brand new mat and I'm just going to take off that nice cover. Now keep this cover handy. You wanna keep this at all times because once you're done using your mat, you wanna place this right back over top. This will help just protect your mat when you're not using it because things like hair and dust, everything that can get on it can really shorten the life um, of your mat because then it gets all dirty and you really want it to stay as clean as possible. So then it tells me that the next step is going to be um, putting this little card stock on our um, little corner of our mat here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna remove, it has some little styrofoam pieces in here. And then it wanted me to make sure, move this little piece, okay. It wanted me to make sure that we have our um, blade in this and the second um, in the B clamp. So that's great. And then the next step is going to be loading our mat. So what you're gonna do is there are two little grooves here and you're gonna line up your mat right there. And then you are just going to push them towards the little rollers right here. And then you're gonna click this flashing arrow button and it will load your mat. And there it goes. And it revs up like a dream. <laughs> it sounds so good the first time. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this flashing cricket button because it's saying that it's ready to go. So we're going to click that and it's going to start cutting. Okay, 
Okay, so it's saying the test cut is complete. So once your machine is done making a cut or done um, doing any type of project here, what you're gonna do is you'll see this little flashing arrow button um, light up and you're just gonna click that again to unload. So now you can start taking your design off of your mat. So what I like to do is I like to peel my mat instead of my material. So peel the mat and then I peel away the leftover just like this. Okay, and then you can peel the mat again. And what, let me show you a tool that I really like. Okay, so I like this little spatula tool and I um, definitely am known for making the little analogy of using this as if you would be peeling up cookies from a cookie sheet. So I just kind of bend my mat and grab a little corner and then I just start by just pulling this up from um, the little mat, almost like you would a cookie from a cookie sheet. So I'm just gonna do that and just kind of keep rolling over. Perfect and it's off the mat. So this is our very first test cut. How cute is that? My girls are gonna love this because they just got a princess dress up box about a few hours ago. We all had a really good day. I got a Cricut machine and they got dressed up. So they're gonna get a kick out of this, so. Okay, so now we can go ahead and look at our little handy instructions. It says make a little something and we did, so check. We can put that there. And then the last one, it says bookmark this page. So it gives you a little bookmark page um, that you can go and bookmark in your web browser if you choose to do so. All right, so we're done with our first project. Now let's go ahead and look at the bundle. So I'm gonna show you guys in case you're interested what the bundle comes with. That way um, you can kind of make a decision for yourself with whether it's worth it for you or whether you would just like to start out with the machine. So let's get started and this is gonna be really fun because the stuff that came in the bundle is super pretty. So I'm really excited to show you guys. Okay, where to begin? My goodness, this is what the bundle looks like. So I want to start off before I show you anything. I want to start off with, they do say in the bundle that um, they do make a list of the things that are included and the patterns are included, but they also do say, and I want to be clear about this, that if there is a pattern that's not available or if there is a product that's out of stock, they will replace it with something else. So I want to make sure that you guys understand that just because these items came in my bundle does not mean that they will come in your bundle. So I just want to be completely transparent about that. So what I'm going to do for you guys is while I'm going through each of the items that came in my personal bundle, I will link them down in the description box just in case you're interested in a particular style, in a particular product. That way you can easily find it. Um, but again, I'm going to repeat it. Just because it came in my bundle does not mean it's going to come in your bundle. By the time you get your bundle, maybe a different... Um, pattern will be out of stock or a pattern may have come back in so they might put something different in yours so everybody's bundle can look a little different so now that I've said that it's like Christmas right now so I'm really excited I went ahead and grabbed my little true control knife because I want to make sure that if I'm curious about anything that I can open it up and take a step um, a little closer look but um, let's go through everything that came in mind and I'll share with you um, just all the fun things that came in. I'm really excited. Um, I also wanted to mention the reason why I personally purchased the bundle is because I personally thought it was a really good deal. So I think it's a good deal and I also thought it was a good deal for me personally because of the variety of material. There were a lot of materials that I have not personally used before. So for me, it was a wonderful way to get me um, introduced to a, a couple different crafts, a couple different materials. So for me, it was a good purchase. So you have to kind of view the bundle as what's best for you. If it's not best for you or not financially best for you, then definitely make a different choice. But for me, I thought the new variety of materials um, was gonna be just a really good step for me in my crafting. Okay, so they do include a scraper. This is their extra large. So the scraper that is the normal size comes in their basic tool set. I firmly believe that if you are starting off with your Cricut machine, everybody needs a basic tool set. There are a lot of tools and um, items that you do not need, but this is one that you do need. So I'm gonna be completely honest, this is a game changer. So you're gonna need one of these. Um, so they start you off with this as well, but this is the little tiny one. And so they gave you an extra large one as well. I love the Cricut scrapers. I have another scraper that is not Cricut that I love a little bit more. And you'll see me using that in my other videos, but these are really, really good. So um, if you are just starting out, definitely use these. Um, so they have the extra large, then this is the basic tool 
set. It comes with the mini scraper. It comes with that handy spatula tool. I just showed you guys that. Um, it comes with the weeding tool and tweezers, which are both amazing. My, this weeding tool is my favorite ever. And this is also why I thought it was beneficial for me to purchase the bundles because a lot of the things I would like to have duplicates of. So you definitely don't need duplicates of, but I thought, you know, that's going to be handy to have another one of those eventually in case mine eventually needs to be replaced or anything like that. Um, and then scissors, the Cricut scissors, I use them all the time. They also include a true control knife. So this is awesome. I have about three of these, um, and they're really, really handy. So I love this. Um, again, this is actually what it looks like in real life. This is just the pink one, but, um, they included a mint one in mine. So this is really handy with crafting. I use mine personally when I am trying to cut around HTV or vinyl when I'm saving scraps or um, anything like that. So I find that this is actually very, very worth it and beneficial. So I'm gonna start clearing the table as I go just so we can kind of stay focused. But again, remember, I will definitely, and I'll try to do them in order, I will definitely link things individually in the description box below. So make sure you're utilizing that in case you want to take a closer look at any of the things that I'm showing you guys today. Okay, so, the next thing that they included was craft board. Now I have not used this yet, but um, I'm really excited about this. So this is the foil sampler. Um, so it looks really pretty. Let me go ahead and open it and we'll see if we can just take a little bit of a closer look. Okay, so I opened that up and so you can see um, it's really pretty. So there's a lot of different colors and styles in there. If you guys have used craft board, let me know in the comments what you guys are using it for because I haven't used it yet. So I'm really excited to see what kind of inspiration you guys have for using it. So this is going to be really fun. Again, another reason why I thought it would be great for me to have the bundles because it's going to introduce me to some new things that I've been wanting to try, but I haven't right quite got around to it yet. Okay, another thing that they include is their paper trimmer or their portable trimmer. This um, I use this all the time. So I have one of these. I use this all the time because I love to cut my vinyl with it um, in my HTV. I specifically use it um, more often than not with my Cricut Joy actually because um, when I'm using my smart materials, I like to make sure that when I am done that I have a nice clean straight line to feed my next um, project in with the smart materials. So I find with any machine that you have, this, um, this portable trimmer is amazing. Definitely worth it. Okay, the next thing that they include was some glitter cardstock and I'm already in love with this so I'm super excited to see a little bit more of this so let me go ahead and open it a little because this is right up my alley this is their pastel sampler and you guys know if you guys have been crafting with me for even a video or two um, it doesn't take much for you guys to know that I am a lover of pastels I love pastels um, so this is definitely um, definitely giving me all the warm and fuzzies because it's already so pretty. Okay, so we have some pretty blues, some yellows, a peach, and it's all glitter. So you guys also know about me if you guys have been here a while that glitter makes me super nervous because I don't like mess, but glitter cardstock is right up my alley because it's a contained mess, but that is gorgeous. <laughs> so look at that, isn't that pretty? I think my favorite is this um, pink or peach. So I love that. Okay, so you guys, we're going to we're gonna definitely do something with this um, soon. So make sure you guys are all ready to go. I love that. Okay, the not, another thing that they have included is their standard grip mat. So that is awesome. And again, when you guys look through that little booklet that comes, um, it will tell you exactly the differences between each mat and what you can use those for. So standard grip mat is awesome to have as well. So that's awesome that they include it. Okay, and then the next thing is, this is their cardstock. And look how massive this is. Look how big this is. What is it? What is even the size on this? Does it say? It should say it somewhere. Um, this is their cardstock sampler. So it comes with a variety of colors. Looks like there is a green, purple, pink, orange, yellow, and green. So this can definitely come in handy. That's going to be awesome. I'm really excited about that too. Okay, so let's move on to the rolls of items that they have included in the bundle. Okay, so I was really excited. I saw this in my box. The first thing that they have included is some foil iron-on, and I have not used foil iron-on yet, so I was really excited because I feel like this little bundle is going to really break me out of my crafting comfort zone and really get me doing a lot of different things. So this is their um, foil iron-on. It's uh, the Very Merry Sampler. So, ooh, this is going to be really pretty for Christmas. 
I love it. So they have a, um, a red, a green, a silver, and a gold. That looks really pretty. I'm excited. If you guys have any um, exciting projects or ideas for how to use any of the materials that I'm talking about today, be sure to leave me a comment. Like if you've used one and have done a really fun project with that, um, or if you guys have some requests on what you guys want to see done with some of this stuff, leave me a comment too, because I love suggestions. It's really helpful when I'm creating my content calendar too, to know what you guys are enjoying. Okay, this is the stencil vinyl, and stencil vinyl is so fun to work with. Um, I have a tutorial with some different stencil vinyl. This is the Cricut, obviously, but I have a different tutorial um, with stencil vinyl that um, is super fun. It's really fun to work with, so um, I'm really happy to have a different brand, too, to try out something different. Okay, and then this is their Everyday Iron On. I believe this is probably a replacement because I don't remember this color choice being in the sampler or the um, the bundle. So this is probably a replacement, but I'm this is a happy um, replacement for me because I do not have any black iron on and I don't have any red iron on. So this is awesome. And I who, who doesn't need more white iron on? I swear, white iron on is what I use the most. So I'm really happy to have this. So this is their Everyday Iron On. It's wonderful to use. I have a ton of iron on HTV um, tutorials. So I'll go ahead and link that playlist up here in case you guys want to learn a little bit more about, um, how to use iron on. Okay. So this one is the premium vinyl shimmer. So this is exciting. Let's open this one because I love seeing firsthand the, um, how the glitter actually looks. So let me open this up and we'll, we'll look at the colors inside. Okay. So I have this one all opened up. It's so pretty. So there's a pink, a silver, let me grab the little tape here gently. Um, a pink and then the silver and a blue. And then if you unroll it a little bit more, they have included some strong grip transfer tape in there. So that is awesome um, because the strong grip is um, more helpful with these glitter uh, vinyls. So it's nice that they have included some of that in there. How thoughtful, I love it. So let me roll that one back up. I had to just see that firsthand because I love some of those textures and, and um, and colors that looks really fun okay so the next thing they included was some uh, premium vinyl this is removable um, so removable is really fun to have on hand as well so I like to use it from time to time this one is a sampler as well and this is called the princess sampler I think we have a theme today with all the crowns and the princess things and the nice blush pink okay so um, this has some six sheets in it they're 12 by 12 sheets and they have a yellow I can open this too so you guys can see it a little bit better Okay, so super pretty already. They have a really nice yellow color. This is almost a peach color. I feel like I have a roll of this too. Um, and then a bright pink, beautiful, a teal, and a little bit of a lighter teal and purple. So this will be fun. I love that. And I love that, but you never know. I just did a um, tutorial for teacher, teacher gifts and you never know what kind of colors you're gonna come um, and need. So it's nice to have a variety um, just in case you come across a project that, you know, calls for some colors that you wouldn't normally buy. Um, it's nice. These samplers kind of introduce you and give you a whole new color palette. So I'm appreciative of that. Okay. I'll put that little piece on later. Okay, so the next one is, this is their Everyday Iron-On. It's another sam sampler pack. This is their neutral sampler, and it has a really pretty, like, mocha color, white, and a dark chocolate brown. So those are all super pretty, and who doesn't need more white HTV, right? <laughs> Again, super thankful for that. Okay, and then they have some transfer tape. So this is their regular grip transfer tape. So that's nice. The other one included the strong grip for that particular material. And then this is um, one roll of, um, and it's 12 inches by 48 inches of transfer tape. So this is nice. This is nice because it's clear and it has um, grids on it. So that can be really, really helpful with um, your projects. So this is one we're probably going to want to open. This is the Premium Vinyl Holographic Sparkle. Doesn't that sound fun? This is going to bust me out of my comfort zone for sure because this is probably something I wouldn't normally buy. Um, but I have a feeling that I could fall in love with this in a heartbeat. Okay. Ooh, you guys, they have a, like, a blush color inside. You guys know that that's going to tug my heartstring. Okay. So they have, let's see, this bright pink is pretty. Then they have a bright teal, and this is permanent. So this is their vinyl, and it's a premium permanent vinyl. 
And then the other one, let's see if we can see it. It's kind of, well, it's, it's probably not blush. That's probably not the right word to say. Let's see what it says on here. Okay, so this is the Sensai sampler. Um, so it doesn't list the particular colors, I suppose, on this. But, um, but anyway, it's kind of a lighter, almost peach or pink. So that could be fun. That could be really fun. So I love that. That's going to be a really... Um, I, the, you know, I think you could do a fun monogram with this and that would just be a really fun little spin on a monogram and get some real fun colors. So, uh, using this for like really simple designs is really fun because you can take a simple design and really make it pop with, um, a really fun vinyl. It's kind of, a, it's kind of a nice way to pair things because something that's simplistic and, and, you know, very basic in nature can really be brought to life with something like this. That's a little bit more bold. Okay. And then the last thing, and probably my favorite thing that was included, this is their glitter iron on. I'm really excited about this. And I really am excited about the colors that they have um, included in here. So let me open it for you guys. So you guys can get equally excited um, to see these colors. Okay. So this one is called the Glam Squad Sampler. And it's living up to its name. It's very glamorous. So inside there are three different colors and it looks like there is this nice, it's almost like a raspberry color. It's super pretty. It's not quite um, red, but it's more of like a bright pink. So I, I, I would kind of call that a raspberry, I think in my, in my opinion. Then there's a silver, but it's like a rainbow silver because there's a lot of different colors that come off of it. So it's super pretty as well. And then the final one is a nice teal. So that is really pretty. Ooh, I can't wait to use this. This is going to be fun. Okay, so that's all of the items that came in my bundle. I'm really, really happy with um, the variety of materials. I think, in my opinion, that this is a wonderful um, idea if you are just starting out because it gives you a real nice variety of materials and ideas that you can toy around with with your new machine. So I am super excited. I think that this is going to be so fun. Um, definitely let me know what you guys are crafting, how you guys are holding up, um, and what you guys are doing to fill your time now that we are all safe at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed going through this with you guys. I did also purchase the largest Easy Press, so I'll probably be doing an unboxing in the next couple weeks of that. So if you guys are interested in a Easy Press or want to know a little bit more about it, then make sure you guys are subscribed and ready to go. All right, if you guys have any questions or lovely comments, then please be sure to leave them down below. Be sure that you give this a thumbs up if you found this helpful in any way or if you are just plain excited like I am to see all these beautiful things. I feel like it was Christmas in May, so I really um, thought this was a very fun um, just afternoon to just you know, while we're safe at home, it's kind of a little bit of joy that was brought to this day. So I hope you guys are all staying safe and well, and I will see you guys all in the next video.